All right, now, let's talk about repositioning to cope with change. What, what happens to you? Now, this is really, this is a, you see an awful lot of this happening out there. Strategy. Technology can force you to adapt your brand to changing circumstances. But you must never lose contact with your basic position. In other words, we're adjusting perceptions, but you can't lose contact with that original position in the mind. And that's where the big mistakes are made. People lose touch with really what they are in the mind. Xerox, another great story from history, they missed an enormous opportunity. They're not dead, but they missed an opportunity. Many, many years ago, a CEO, a guy named McCullough, he said, there is the office of the present, which has got a telephone, typewriter, word part of the computer, which is an IBM deal, AT&T, IBM, and there's the copy. Those are the three machines that dominate business in the office. And Mr. McCullough said, but I see the future, and it will look like this, an office automation system. Obviously, IBM will be a player, but we're going to be there too. Now, there's a big problem with predicting the future. The problem is you can't predict the future. Trust me, if, that's, if your strategy is based on predicting the future, you could be in deep trouble. But this is where they go. So off they go. So obviously, they spend 20 years and $2 billion on, on a Xerox machine that can't make a copy, right? Because to have the office automation system, they've got to have a computer, they've got to have the whole deal. But they couldn't make that jump in the mind of the prospect. Uh, people said, if it can't make a copy, it's not a Xerox machine. They could not change people's minds. See, where they missed here was that third leg. In other words, the world didn't go to one deal. These legs descended. Voicemail, fax, workstations, networks, computer printers, scanners, and storage. In other words, the big mo this is really what happened in their world of putting marks on paper. And I spent an enormous amount of time trying to convince Xerox, wait a minute, guys, laser printing, the computer printer, that's going to be big. It's going to be bigger than copying. Um, and, I, and here was your repositioning strategy. Move from xerography, right? Yeah, got that one, to lasography as a way to preempt the surge in laser printing. That's the technology that was going to disrupt you. And I made enormous efforts right up through the CEO. Couldn't get that done. Hewlett Packard arrives and says, OK, we'll do that. Bang, they take the laser printing business and make a fortune on it, a fortune. So they missed this incredible opportunity as this technology roared, roared by. What they should do today is they should move into document engineering. They, they got the document idea, but now they should talk about this, how the digital world allows you to engineer documents. Now, will they do that? Probably not. But this is the next, you've got to stay on top of the thing. But the nice thing about it, it always keeps in touch with what they have in the mind, the document idea, putting marks on paper. 